Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's nice to have you here. Um, I hope you're all having a good start to the new year. Today I want to talk about the importance of upskilling in tree surgery. So if you're a grounds person or a tree surgeon, I want to explain to you my reasons for why I think it's really important, no matter what stage you're at, is to keep upskilling. So stick around and we'll get talking. Well guys, welcome back. Um, change of scenery today. I'm in the shed. It's stormy weather outside. It's raining. It's it's nasty weather. So I said, do you know what? I'm going to do it in here today. I think this is an important thing to touch on because I've experienced this myself. Um, not not upskilling, not improving. I stayed at a level for ten years, pretty much. Decent enough climber. Not a world beater but I never bothered to push myself further and further, which I have done in the last two, three years. And what I can tell you from my experience is that in the last three years, I've, Jesus, I've gained a lot, lot more experience. And I'm having much more fun in the trees and it's benefiting me when I'm doing my own jobs as well, because I can, instead of only having a couple of skills, I've now got, several skills that I can choose from. So when I look at a tree, it's not just, all right, harness, rope, chainsaw, or how am I gonna dodge this? How am I gonna miss that? How am I gonna cut out the dragon? I've got more skills now in the last three years than I did in the 10 years before that. So I really wanna help you guys that may be stuck at a level and maybe you don't know how to go about getting to the next level. Maybe you haven't got the motivation to get to the next level, whatever it is. There's going to be a few clips in this video so you can see what I'm talking about if you're a beginner or if you're if you're brand new to this business or maybe you're sitting on your couch and you, you're thinking about changing your, your career. Um, this will hopefully be good for you and help you. So basically what I've done in the last three years, I'll, I'll start from rigging. Rigging has been absolutely amazing for me. It's opened my eyes up to so many different avenues of doing jobs. You you definitely look at trees differently when you know how to rig. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm the master of rigging, because I'm not. I consider myself a beginner. I've been doing it about a year. Uh, now, I, I did delve into it before that, but it was never really known what I was doing. Um, now I I have a good basic knowledge of rigging and I've adapted that into as many jobs as I can and it's absolutely changed my outlook on tree work I've actually fallen in love with tree work it's magic when you get ropes and timber working together it is magic and anyone watching this that's experienced that does rigging you know exactly what I'm talking about so that's that's number one for me. I think rigging is, is amazing, an amazing technique, an amazing skill to have as a tree surgeon. And the beauty of it is you can never know everything. You've always got something to push towards and upskill. You can always upskill, always. That's the beauty of tree surgery. There's new things coming out. There's new techniques. There's new tools. It's a never ending journey, basically. So yeah, rigging, uh, you'll see in the clips now, that are going through you'll see the jobs that we were doing rigging on and how i would have approached them jobs before would have been absolutely battering my body holding big lumps of timber twisting my body trying to miss targets on the ground with rigging it's magic it's fun it's the, the customer looks at you and thinks bloody hell I, I never knew these guys did this kind of stuff so you get a good reputation then as well um zip lining is another one Zip lining for me is my favorite. It's just magic. When you see these branches flying 50 foot, maybe 100 foot across a garden or across a house, whatever it is, 
you've just cut out some amount of work. Now it might take you a little bit longer to get the tree down, but getting the tree down is the fun part, so why not stay up it a bit longer? The dragon is the worst part, so look, if you can cut out that that dragon for your groundsman, plus when you come down there's nothing to clean up, happy fucking days. And then you've got SRT guys, um, which is single rope technique, which is literally what it says, it's a single rope. But basically what it is, is normally we use double rope technique, which if you're going on courses, that's what you would have done. Now, I don't know if they implement a bit of single rope technique in now. Maybe they do. It's 15 years since I did my uh, climbing course. Um, but that's what I've started doing now. If you want to check back, if you're new, there are videos of me doing SRT as a beginner. Not for beginners, but as a beginner. Uh, and you can see, you basically can see the troubleshooting I'm having and yeah see see what see what it's about so if you want to check back on some of the later videos go ahead and look at them but that's one i think i 100 percent push everyone to try and do srt even if you're old i think everyone should be doing it if you're in the business 15 years like i was i was 13 14 years in then i said do you know what i'm going to go and do srt it looks good it looks like it might prolong my career so that's definitely one that i think you guys if you haven't already start getting into it and you'll feel great once you start working it all out and you see you achieving little goals and it's brilliant fantastic then there's pruning felling and just all these little other techniques learn knots do you know what i mean just put some effort in into this job and it will give it back you know it will give you rewards back when you start learning and i've definitely 100 percent seen that for myself in the last three years um I feel so much better about myself in the job. I know I'm not the best and I'd never try and pretend I am. I'd never try and pretend I know everything because I certainly don't. Um, but I know a lot more than I did three years ago, which is a good thing. So guys, look, if you wanna, if you're struggling to get the motivation, believe me, it's worth it. Get on your laptop, look for courses. You might not be the one you want exactly, but any course, it could be about anything, tree identification, pruning, anything fell in fell in larger trees whatever it is go out and do it because i can guarantee you it will make you feel better as a tree surgeon or a grounds person whichever you are guys it's been great speaking to you i hope this has helped a few of you get a bit of motivation to improve your career because it's such a vast industry so many different avenues so many adventures to go on please enjoy this video and we'll see you next week bye